Hey everybody, what's going on? It's freaking tall dude, the friendly gamer, coming at you with some more Madden 25 content. Today I'm gonna be doing a I guess it'd be like kind of like tips and tricks, but also just to help everybody out. Like say you are getting like Madden's starting to slow down, we're just doing the drafts now. If you still want to play coin games and everything and still have a beast team, that's on you. That's cool. I completely understand. I'll probably be doing that next year myself because I'm gonna be getting more involved there than I was in the previous years now, now that I'm actually putting videos up. But yeah, uh, for me, I wanted to sell my cards that were worth something. I used the coins just to open packs and have fun. And uh, I now have a budget squad. And I wanted to let you guys know how you can obtain a budget squad. It's really simple. I'll show you a couple key cards that I use um, in the budget squad and how you can, you know, build a good team without spending a crap load of money. So what we'll do is we'll just head on over to the search auction section here. And what you're going to do is, okay, like say you wanted, like a good example is like a lineman. So say you wanted, we'll just go with like an LT. You want to search gold because that's going to be your cheapest. And then you're going to search like, um, I would go in the range of 80, 85, 89 because you're going to get a good, good card. So let's see what pops up. Okay, so say you want an LT. Okay, now like, like Brickershaw Ferguson. Now what you want to do is when you're looking at these, you, know, you want to flip them over and you want to base it off of what you want. So say you have a lineman, you're going to base it off of his his pass block footwork and also his run block. So say you run the ball more than you pass. Well, obviously for this guy, he's going to be a really good pass rush, uh, pass blocker. So it has 92 overall, 97 overall. So you want to go ahead and if, say you're going to pass a lot. That's a great pickup for 4,500 coins because he's in the 90s for both. And his impact's 83, which isn't too terrible. His awareness is 89, so he can pick up guys if he needs to. And he has a high enough strength where, you know, you can actually, actually make plays for you. Now, if you scroll down a little bit here, like for 8,000 coins, which I think a budget squad is anything under 15, me personally. Anything under 15, you're doing good. So, take like Tyron Smith. We'll flip him over. Now, all of that, wow, he's really good. Um, I didn't expect that. Now, see, like for him, he's going to be like for an extra, we'll say what five for actually 3500 coins you're getting all around player so he'll be able to impact impact block for you cover the run and cover the pass now normally some of these guys that are elites and really high ups maybe they'll have like a couple more points in strength but in all honesty they don't have a lot of these stats i've seen some alignment and some of them are good don't get me wrong and some of them maybe are is equal to this, but if you're running the budget squad, Tyron Smith looks like a great card to pick up for 8,000 coin as of this video. And who knows, you may bid on him. He's got 21 hours on him, bid on him for five. So you can pick him up for even cheaper. I mean, that's the way I would roll. Like, for instance, okay, check this out. You go to the playoffs. Now, you think playoffs, you're thinking money. You're like, oh, man, that's going to be super, super expensive. Now, say you're looking for corners, all right? You're going to go over here to corners, and you're even going to bump this up to 90 to 94. Once it kicks in, check this out. There's a bunch of them. Everybody seems to pull these. I don't know why. Check it out, though. 6,000 coins. All right. This is crazy. For a 94 overall corner, flip them over. Look at this. 93 man, 93 zone. Yeah, his press isn't that great, but don't press him. Don't don't, don't press up. He's got a 92 play rec and 93 speed and 93 agility. 87 awareness is not bad. For 6,000 coins, that's under 10K. You get a really good, really, really good corner. If you come down here to Trenton Williams, once again, under 10K. Flip him over, 94 man coverage, 92 zone, 93 speed, 95 agility, 88 awareness. Honestly, yeah, it does factor in that if you have an audience over a team, the players are just going to perform better. But if you practice at the game and actually learn how to play the game, you can win with a 94 overall squad. It works. I haven't personally done it because I'm not that good of a game yet, but I'm going to practice like all get out next match. I'm really going to put effort into it. But if you really learn that, you know, what, what plays to run and get comfortable with the playbook and you can win with these teams, you can actually, I mean, I wouldn't go up against like a 99 stack team with, you know, or all 99s, but I, with this game, it really doesn't, you can't get that yet. You will eventually, but you can't get that yet. But I mean, I mean, like I'm just saying, like, don't be afraid if someone has a 98 overall team. Don't be afraid to play them. I mean, it's all, there. like, there is some skill involved. Well, no, like, there is some, like, the card, the better cards will perform better, but there, there is all the skill involved in, 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 like, what you do, too. So, but, yeah, 
freaking Trayman uh, Williams, great car to pick up. I would recommend it. And there's one more I want to show you. Right here, once again, under 10K as of this video. Under 10K as of this video. 93 man coverage, Keenan Lewis, 94 zone, 92 press, 92 play rec, and 93 speed. Where's the same five? Once again, not bad. And 94 agility. Once again, don't even look at the tackle, because half of them can't tackle anyhow. So, <laughs> three great corners. I can fill up your slot for under 30,000 coins. That's crazy. I mean, if you want to go a little lower, you could go search golds and you could look and see if there's an 84 overall for like 400 coin. But if you're looking to have a decent team, I would recommend I run two of these because I have uh, Hayward. But if I didn't, I would run all three of these guys on my squad. Okay, now let's look. Say you're in the mix for all. Yeah, check this out. Just search fantasy. Just search fantasy. These cards are worth nothing. Some of these cards are worth absolutely nothing. Like say you just do fantasy 90 to 94, all right? And of course it's gonna glitch out, so we gotta go back in. Love you, man. So we'll go back in the search options, and we'll just go fantasy cards, and we'll go 90 to 94, and then we'll click in, and it'll flash, and we'll see all the cards. Now what you wanna do is once you see cards, this is in general for searching for any card. If you see a card you like, like say for instance you wanted this Ronnie Brown. Go in, um, like remember what he is, like go fantasy, halfback, chargers, 91 overall, and refine the search because this is just going to bring up everything that's available. So say you see a card you like and it's in your price range, refine the search. You'll, nine times out of ten, you'll find it even cheaper than what it is because it's just giving you all the listings for everything right now. So like say like Ronnie Brown, halfback, you're looking, oh my gosh, you know, 86 truck, 90 speed, 94 carry. You know, that's not a bad card for 4,000 coin. There's probably better out there. We'll see if we can get it better out there. Okay, we got Le'Veon Bell for the Steelers. All right. 90 trucking, 92 carry, 86 awareness, 92 speed. He's a little bit faster. So for like another like 300, 400 coins, you get him. Fred Jackson, this, th okay, he's fast, but no trucking. So look at the stats. Do you want a guy that can cut to the outside? Or do you want a guy that can hit up the middle, like AP or like Marshawn Lynch? You know, you gotta look at the stats and do what you want to do. This guy is really great. I run him on my PS4 squad. Danny Trevathan, 92 overall. His stats are decent. Nothing too crazy, but once again, gets the job done. Like once again, Carson Palmer for under 10. You know, you got 94 throw power, 86 accuracy, 92 in awareness, 85 deep is not terrible. But once again, if you want to pay a little more, you can get a guy with 90. Same with like Chris Ivory. You know, I actually run. Dean, uh, Dean Milliner on my team on PS4. 90 overall zone. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Man coverage is 90 overall. Zone is 87. Once again, a great pickup. And just look through these. Like the DT for like 7,200 coins. Like he's 93 blocks, 93 power, 94 block shed. He's got 973 speed, so he's actually quick and he'll get to the quarterback. No, I actually used him myself. But yeah, like, look, Frank Gore. Powerhouse, nine truck. I mean, it's just, it's all in what you want. Play to your strengths. Don't you know, like an LE for ninety three. Friggin' Michael Bennett. Like these cards are cheap. And if you refine it, you'll even see them cheaper. That's the whole thing. Like a middle linebacker, Ray over eighty five hundred coins. Like maybe eighty five is too much for you. So drop it down to 80, 83 to eighty four. Maybe you don't want to do an eighty four overall team. Go within your price range. Go within your budget so you can get a decent team. And then build up, play coin games, play solo challenges, make some money, work the auction block. It's going to take a little bit of work, but you can get a decent team. It's not like you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars and buy, buy bundles to get a good team. It's totally feasible. Look, under 10K, a 90 overall full freaking free safety. Gibson, 90 zone. That's what you want in your free safety, and you want decent awareness, and you want... And that's even 84 man is good if you have to drop him into an audible. And 90 speed, 90 agility, it's pretty quick. So that's what I would say with the fantasies. Also, legendary cards. Like, in all honesty, the BCAs I'd stay away from, some of those are a little pricey. With legend cards, you go 90 to 94. And legend cards don't go 95 to 99 because they're freaking higher ages. But yeah, look at these. Now, if you want to go a little higher, you can. Like, Autogram, I run him on PS4. You flip him over, he's under 10. And look, you got 91 deep ball. 94 throw accuracy, 92 awareness, 91 throw power, 78 speed, so he can still juke a job out there if you need him to. 
I mean, it's he's a good card, and he's overlooked. And I run him, and I really enjoy playing with him. Blanda is going to have a little bit more, a couple more throw deep, a little more power. But personally, I would go with all that grand if I was running the Blanda squad for a quarterback. He's really, really good. But if you did want to go a little more, like you could pick up Mackie for 15. No, because they did release a Mackie. And if you wanted to say you wanted to get a couple high end players, legendary is where you come. For like a 94 wide receiver, you get Steve, uh, Steve Largent. But yeah, that's where, I mean, honestly, that's what I would do. I would try to snipe a um, an autogram for cheap. I picked him up for like 88, 100 points on PS4, and he works really good. I really enjoy him. Well, let's see what else we can do. But yeah, pretty much anything that involves, I would just search, like if you really want to do cheap, I would search gold 80 to 84. If you want to do just a basic squad, you'll pick up cards for anywhere between a thousand to five hundred coins and anywhere in between. You might even get a couple for 150 if someone just posts it and doesn't want it anymore. I've done that. I've actually picked up a few bowl cards on PS4 for 150 coin between the 80 and 84 range. If someone just didn't know what they had and they just threw it up. They didn't post it for say 500 coins, they just went rid of it. So I picked it up and I used them. Oh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can show you guys. Um, elites, I would say the same way. I would maybe search the 85 to 89 range if you're going to budget. Because you're gonna find some decent guys for a decent price, like 4K. Like here's where you're gonna find your final edition guys. So say you didn't want to spend eight eight thousand on a quarterback, Mike uh, Gellin, I think it is, is not a bad pickup. Ninety-five throw power. You know he can if you do short dump off passes, he's good. Like we're outside linebackers like Jared Mayo. That's a Fanica. I actually have him on my team right now. He's great. Five K. Like eight yeah, overall right guard. He does the job. That I want to do, you know, like, look, Joe Hayden, 86 overall corner, you know, like 91 man coverage, that's really good. 89 speed, that's decent. Joe covers is 85. You know, it's totally feasible to make a good team. He's got, like I said, there's Campbell, Elliott overall. I personally wouldn't use him because he has more finesse than power. But for someone that's looking for finesse, that's perfect. And there's Ace Sanders, final edition for the Jags. I mean, like I said, 94 speed, he's quick to dog it out. Everything else is in the 80s, but hey, for 5,400 coins, man, that's that's pretty good. I mean, just scroll through these, look and see what you want. You know, there's a Carly Lewis. You know, he's not the best in the world at zone, but I mean, for the price, honestly, for the price, you could spend three more thousand coins and pick up a 94 over all those ones I showed you before. Um, I mean, just scroll through them. That's mainly what it is. It's picking your weaknesses, like finding what you're good at, picking the players that are gonna either help you run, help you pass, whatever you need to do. Picking a running back that's either going to cut to the outside or run up the gut, or pick up two. Pick up one that has good truck and one that has good speed. Switch them out. You know, confuse, you know, confuse someone. And if uh, hold on, let me see. There is one ghost card that I would like to show. It is a quarterback ghost. I don't know if he's even here anymore. Yep, this one. You want to screw with people and you got the coin? Yeah, pick him up. He plays as quarterback, but he's a running back. 93 elusiveness, like his his throw deep isn't isn't like it's awful. It's, it's just it's awful, but like his accuracy is not bad. And if you run read option with this guy, he's nuts. I actually just recently played a, a game with a, a, a person that ran him in this game. Read option, he's almost impossible to touch. Like no one can match his 96 speed. And they say you would have a boost on like a Pat Pete. Or I forget the other card off the top of my head that gives a speed boost. He's got a hundred speed and he is gonna cruise. He's gonna float. So I would recommend picking him up. But yeah, it's like I said, guys, it's mainly just to you know summarize. Playing to your strengths, find out what cards to use, what cards not to use. It is you know, going within your budget. If you can only afford the eighty fives or you know the eighty fours, that's cool. You know, it's not and also, work the trade block. If there's a card you don't want or have, put it on a trade block. Ask for something. Say there's like just, you know, a car shock or something. Someone might give you an 84 overall or 82 overall card. I've had that happen. So, post cards you don't want in your trade block. Uh, list cards that are worth a lot on your auction block. And build up coins and make a budget squad. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this had enough tips and tricks in it for you. I tried to explain what I personally do to make a budget squad. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would, please leave a comment down below. If you're making a budget squad, what are some of the players you're using? Or if, if you have an idea for me, please let me know. Or if you want to say, you know, hey, what's going on? That's cool, too. I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would please like uh, this video and please share it on Facebook and Twitter, all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new, if you want to, you know, subscribe, please subscribe. Much appreciated. More videos to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Freaking Tall Dude, the Friendly Gamer, signing out, guys. Later, everybody.